Hello and welcome to this short tutorial which is really a tip on how to edit source footage with effects already applied. Now this is just a quick tip. Um, what I've got here in my timeline is a series of bits and pieces that were taken with one piece of footage. Now all of them need some effects applied because really they're a bit washed out, we need to do them very minimum, we need to play around with the levels. Okay, so it's taken from this original piece of footage, the animals footage. If I double click on the animals footage to open it in my source panel, you can see that it looks fairly washed out and I've taken all of my bits and pieces, as you can see, straight from here. I've just selected a range, so say there's my out point and I've grabbed that and I've dropped it into my timeline and then I've selected another range and dragged it and dropped it in. But as I say, they're all a bit washed out. So what happens if I want to change them? Well. What we could do is we could apply, say, the fast color corrector. Let's uh, just type the word fast in down here in our effects panel, F-A-S-T, and scroll down to find the fast color corrector. There it is. And we could drop it on one piece of footage, say this one at the beginning here, and then we could open up our effects control. We could open up our fast color corrector. We can scroll down to the levels, and then we can, say, change the contrast a bit and make it pop a little bit more. Very simple to do, but then of course I have to copy that or create a preset and apply it to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one and you know what, they're all from the same piece of footage. Is there a way to apply an effect to the footage and then drag all the affected bits to the timeline? And the answer to that question is yes. So I'm gonna delete all these from my timeline, select and delete. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my original footage and I'm gonna drop it into my timeline and I'm going to hit the backslash key so I can see it all. If you can't see it all, it's probably because you had it open in your source panel and you hadn't changed the out points. The out point was probably set back here somewhere and you need to take it out to the whole, the whole range. So if you couldn't see it, that's probably what the situation is. So I now have all my footage in my timeline, the animal's timeline, and I'm going to apply the fast color corrector. So click, drag, drop, open up my effects control, open up the fast color corrector, take it down and change the gamma, make it pop on all of them just a bit, just to make it look a little bit better. And now all of my original footage has been affected and it all looks fantastic. Now what I want to do is I want to edit that and drop it into my timeline. So if I go to my source panel, how do I do that? Simple, you take the sequence icon here, so the animal sequence, grab it and drop it into the source panel. And now you will see you have the affected footage in your source panel. And then you can move along and you can go to an appropriate place, set your out point. However, you don't want to drop it into the same sequence. What you need to do is create a new sequence. So we just go new item, sequence, and then we can call this main, click OK. And then what we can do is we can drag down our individual clips from our sequence, which is in our source panel, to our main footage, and then we can go along and we can select all kinds of different bits and pieces. Out point, in point, drag it down, hit the backslash key to zoom in, and so we can create it from footage which has already been affected in the previous sequence by dragging the sequence icon into the source panel. This can save an awful lot of work if you know you've got one long piece of footage and you actually need to grab bits and pieces from it, but the whole lot of footage needs affecting. Affect it first, add the changes in the sequence, and then add the sequence to the source panel, and then take your selections and drop them into the timeline. I hope you found this quick tip useful. My name's Andrew Davis. Thank you for watching. Thank you.